Hey guys, so for this video, let's talk about isomers, right? So isomers are hydrocarbons. We'll just talk about hydrocarbons for the sake. It's a chemical that has the exact same formula, like the same number of carbons, the same number of hydrogens, but they're just connected in a different way. So the way I like to think about it is the connectivity is different or the skeleton is kind of shaped different, right? Same compound, I could draw a compound but kind of do a reverse mirror kind of image or draw it vertical. You have to be able to identify it's the same compound or if it's a completely different compound. So let's compare everything to this compound that I drew up here. So what I like to do is, again in visual, I say that a million times a day, is I like to identify the carbon chain. So we could do that and make it very obvious. Here we have a carbon chain. So it looks like we have four carbons kind of in a row and then one carbon off shooting, right? And we could even write down the formula, what the formula is. The formula for this would be C5, and then we could count the hydrogens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, H12. That's the formula for the compound that we're looking at. So. If we were to look at the compound below here, let's determine if it's the same compound. So again, I'm going to outline the carbon chain. If it's hard for you to visualize. First off, what do I notice? I notice that everyone here is single bonds. Everyone here is single bonds. Great. So that's a good sign. Um, and we have four carbons in a row and one carbon bound off on this on the side Hey, that looks like the same compound doesn't it? It's just that it's flipped But isn't it the same compound? If I had my marker sitting like this, but I also put it this way. Isn't it the same marker? Yes, right the connectivity is the same the wording's the same. It's just it is spatially flipped So it's the same compound so this compound and this compound are identical compounds. So same compound. It's just that I trickily drew it one, uh, flipped it, right? How about this image? We have carbons, 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 carbons. What huge thing do I notice right away? There are only one, two, three, four carbons on this one. There's only four carbons on this one. So it has to be a different compound. Let's look at this one. We gotta kinda gotta have both of them in the same shot though, don't we? So we have all of the carbons. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five carbons, but they're all next to each other as opposed to having one of them kind of connected down here. So what they kind of did, if we're going to go make this one look like the one down here, we would just pop him off and put him on the end here. So let's look at the formula and make sure that the formula is the same. The formula down here is C5 and how many H's? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. C5H12. The connectivity is different. Why? Because up here you have one small branch. Down here you have them all linked side by side. So the connectivity is different, but the formula is the same. The actual you know, number of carbons and numbers of hydrogens is the same. So this is an isomer. So we just saw an example of how you know, um, these could be represented in different ways. So hopefully this helps. Good luck, guys.